Hello, uh, my name is Stephen Liu. I'm a medical oncologist at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. We've got a trial that's in progress talking about what I think is a very important phase three trial that challenges the current standard of care. This is the Artemia study. Uh, it's based on a, a prior phase three, the Atalante one study, which was presented and published by Dr. Benjamin Bess at Gustave Roussy, comparing OSE 2101. This is a therapeutic cancer vaccine. It targets five different tumor-associated antigens that are commonly expressed in lung cancer. This study showed in patients with lung cancer that were HLA A2 positive that had secondary resistance to immunotherapy, OSC2101 or TADOPI was clearly superior to our standard dose ataxel. This is overall survival. The overall survival on hazard ratio here, 0.57, a profound benefit in OS in this very specific subset of patients. And so this study is powered to really show that benefit in this cohort. It takes patients that are HLA A2 positive. They're randomized two to one to receive OSE2101 or TADOPI, which is the vaccine or docetaxel standard treatment. And importantly, it's a survival endpoint. The study is ongoing right now. By the end of April, we had 41 patients already randomized. You can see the countries of origin here, again, primarily due to the HLA A2 subtype, which is they're going to be a little bit more common in Caucasian patients. And then the importance here is that when we think of immunotherapy, this is clearly our standard of care for patients without a driver. And we know that with immunotherapy, we can achieve long-term durable survival. But that's for a minority of our patients. 20% maybe can achieve what we consider that tail of that curve. We want more of that. And while we're excited about antibody drug conjugates, new cytotoxic, these tend to be transient benefits. Using a therapeutic cancer vaccine here gives us the potential, the hope, for something with a much higher ceiling with long-term durable survival. And I think if this study shows that OS benefit, clearly this becomes our new standard of care. It really opens a new paradigm for the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer.